Hello everyone, welcome back <coughs> to Trails in the Sky. So last episode we met up with a bunch of people. Uh, for example, Tita's grandfather. Apparently he's a genius. He's the Professor Russell. <coughs> As in Professor R in in the letter of Cassius. The one who... Yeah. Anyway. So I guess I think we should be going to... Professor is headed to, to the central factory. Okay. I know it's not part of the original plan, but I want to go- Okay. Fine. Fine. You're right. <clears throat> okay, give me one second. Just want to check. Okay, the audio is fine. Last part, I had to re-record re it because... For some reason, the audio from my mic dropped. Alright, Kilka. She's awesome. She's the best. Good morning. That was some day yesterday, wasn't it? When you are ready, we'll like your full report on it. Business as usual, Kilika. I've heard the basics from the factory chief already. <laughs> but I'd like to expand the, that account with some first-hand details. Well... I see. So the ordman that was sent to Cassius in secret was in fact something dangerous. The guild is very interested in these developments. We need to continue working with Professor Russell for the present. We thought you say that. When we have more information, we'll, we'll contact you immediately. Ba -bam, bam. Ba -bam, ba -bam. Okay, so can we go out and I'm gonna kill that monster? No, oh, the highway's this way. Oh, fine. Tita, if only you were not so cute. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I think I gotta go to third floor. I think it's this one. Bah, another failure. The wind today! <laughs> Grandpa, we came to see if we could help. Ah, hello, Tita. And you two are here as well, I see. <laughs> what can I say? We were worried. So, what are you working on? Well, as you can see, I'm trying to cut into the Black Orbman. But it hasn't been going very well. Yeah, what seems to be the problem? Perhaps a demonstration is in order. And click. Whoa, what's that thing? It's a circular saw. It's made of special alloy that can cut through basically anything. That ought to do it then. It stopped! I thought that would might happen. It's on a smaller scale, but it's the same phenomenon as yesterday. It seems like the uh, black orbman is blocking the functionality of other orbmans, interfering with them in some way. And I doubt it, it was solely made for the purpose of killing the lights. Yeah. But Grandpa, doesn't the effect spread like it did last night? Yes, good thinking. This interference with nearby orbmans seems to spread out, moving from orbman to orbman like chain lightning. I put the range at about 5 arch. But if these are no orbmans powered on within the range, well, then that's where the effect stops. I see, that makes sense. Does it? <laughs> However, even with that knowledge, there's no way to know why it causes machines to simply stop without getting a look inside it. It's very troubling. Is there any way to destroy the thing? Maybe with a good scream and really hard whack. Don't be ridiculous. Didn't you see the big saw that do exactly nothing to it just a moment ago? Oh, yeah. Anyone thought of trying fire? Maybe it melt down in a blast furnace or something. If we did if we did that, the insides of it would melt too. Oh yeah. Well, it was a worth a, it was worth a shot. <clears throat> Actually, it might work. Really? You know of a way to burn it open? No, that's not what I meant. Orbital power that which drives orbmans to work can't be used for this problem. We'll have to find a way that, that, that doesn't rely on any orbital energy. Hmm. 
Is there even such a thing? The combustion engine. It's the it's a device that burns fuel to generate energy. The idea has been around for a long time, but it's very inefficient when compared to an orbital engine. However, all you need to work on them are standard tools. Huh, neat. I get it. Fire is the key. But Grandpa, I never seen one of them. You never seen a gasoline tank? <laughs> I'm pretty certain that there's one under study in the central factory workshop. Oh, you'll need to get a fuel as well. Like oil or something? No, gasoline. Yeah, there you go. No, it's called gasoline. Extremely flammable. There's likely a tank or a canister of it stored in reserve. Hmm, yes, it should do the job. I'll start getting the tools ready. I'll help. Is there anything we can do? I mean, I can't do anything super technical like Tida can. Well, you could go and get the engine and gasoline. It's going to be heavy, but your bracer should be strong enough to move it. Okay, leave it to us. So, where will we find this? Hmm. Let's see. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I've forgotten. You just said not to say that. <laughs> um, Estelle, if you look in the operations room, you could probably find them. What the heck is an operations room? It's a room with a bunch of orbital computers. It's on the fifth floor. We store all kinds of information there for safekeeping. Wow, I didn't even know there was a such place. Then I leave it in your capable hands. <sighs> Making coffee, fetching stuff. Well played, old man. Well played. <laughs> okay, well, let's go find this operation room thingy. To the fifth floor, Dan. Dun, 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 dun. Nope, this is not the room. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wow, check out this place. This has to be the operations room. Supervisor Travis. Alright, it's Travis Bar Barker. Hey, you too. I haven't seen you before, you, do, so you mind telling me what business you have in here? My name is Travis, Senior Engineer and Supervisor. Nice to meet you, we're the, we're the Bracer Guild. We're here at the request of Professor Russell, so if... Professor Russell? <laughs> He's not in trouble again, is he? Again? You really don't have much faith in him, do you? <laughs> no, I mean, I realize that. He's a genius. He was the one who developed the capital unit, after all. But even being acquainted with him results in no end of trouble. <laughs> Tita, on the other hand, is, is an incredible sweet girl. Just an all-around good kid. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. But I don't think we have time to stand around talking in this case. We need to find where the central factory stores its equipment. Oh, is that what this is all about? In that case, go right ahead. I'll show you how it works. The cylindrical device is a type of computer. It's called a capel. These days, they mostly use to assist on airship navigation. Ah, oh, that's nice. But this one is equipped for the fastest general purpose data processing in the world. Jesus. Hang on, I got a message. Alright, sorry about that. It can be used for anything, from calculating material density to information retrieval. Now, for information retrieval, you have to use this front panel to select that mode. That will send a signal. Sorry, I'm just flying back to my... That will send a signal through the wiring and allow you to access the memory ortman. There's quartz inside that trains a rapid light pulse on it, you see. Then it simply attracts, extracts the data you want. So I trust you know how it works now. <laughs> uh, no. No sweat. I'm impressed, Estelle. <laughs> You're way better with modern technology than I am. 
I'm fucked. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> All that stuff went completely over my head. <laughs> well, here's the setup. You change the mode with this panel. I'm sure you'll figure it out in no time. <clears throat> the orbital calculator. Capital system. Memory check, okay. The database access. Okay, so we gotta check out the... Mm, I think it's... Universal tech. No, that's not it. Combustion engine. A machine with ge which generates usable energy with by burning fuel within. Less, prof less efficient than its horrible counterpart. Due to its issues with gaseous exhaust and noise pollution. Okay. A liquid derived from the purification of the nat naturally occurring hydrocarbon compound known as petroleum. Used primarily as fuel as for combustion engines and as an industrial solvent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like you found what you were looking for. Wow, it's like a magic box or something. Orbital computers are really something. As I understand it, the Professor Russell's teacher, Professor Epstein, <laughs> Epstein, whatever, Epstein, Epstein, was responsible for the original concept. So, but it was Professor Russell's talent that made an idea into reality. Uh, if only his presence of mind were on par with his intelligence. <laughs> well, Adios isn't one to bestow two blessings on one person. <laughs> By the way, where can we find the guy who has one of those combustion engine thingies? The maintenance chief, right? Where is he? He is currently overseeing the airfield, so you have to go there to speak to him. Also, the gasoline is likely in an orpman manufacturing in the basement. Talk to the staff there, and I'm sure they'll be happy to get you to get it for you. Maintenance Chief Gustav is down at the airfield, working on a combustion engine, and the gasoline is in the basement Orpman manufacturing facility. Thanks, you've been a big help. Think nothing of it. Let me know if you need anything else. Alright. Let's go to the basement first. Is this the guy? No, the girl. Yeah. Excuse me. Hey, what's that? May I help you? You need gasoline? I think we'll have a tank of it back in the storage somewhere. I'll check for you. Faye, use intercom. This is Faye. Got a request down here. We still have that tank of Calvert gasoline there in the warehouse, right? Can you send some down? Yeah, enough to carry. Thanks. They're sending some for you right now. Sending? Holy. There we are. <laughs> is this gasoline? So that's what sending is. Neat, isn't it? This conveyor belt system isn't just for ordering goods. It's an entire network that connects the whole facility. Convenient. Professor Russell invented it. Originally, it was just a series of tubes for sending products back and forth. But the professor completely rebuilt the system into something a lot more useful. Of course, getting all the all of the infrastructure in place was a gigantic pain in the. <laughs> I can only imagine. We have to be on our way. Thanks. Thank you for your help. No problem. I don't know what you're using it for, but be careful with that gasoline. It has a tendency to fireball. <laughs> All right, cool. So we gotta go to the uh, la landing port. So let's go to the first floor. I think talk to the receptionist. Yeah. Hi, need a flight? The westbound airship just departed moments ago. No, thank you. We don't need an airship right now. Actually, we need to talk to Gustav, was it? You mean the maintenance chief? He's not here at the moment. What do you mean he's not here? 
He went to Leyston Fortress two, two or three days ago. Some kind of repair emergency on a military patrol ship. Leyston Fortress, as in the largest base in the in the Royal Army, out by Lake Val Valeria, up in the north part of Zeiss. Wonderful. He won't be coming back from there anytime soon. So what do we do about the professor request? I don't know anything about that, but the chief is actually on his way back. He's just sent word to us. Oh hey, airship. Speak of the devil. Hold the phone. Since when are public airships orange? No, that doesn't look like a regular public airship. The ship is wrong and it's got work all work arms all over it. Now that you mention it, this that's a central factory vessel, the Leibniz. <laughs> it's the same model as the public transports, but it's had a uh, several modifications. It's used for large scale maintenance and transport. Huh. A flying factory. Then the maintenance chief is on our airship? That's right. Now's your chance, you need to talk to him, but no? We do, thanks a lot. Yes, thank you, thank you, fuck you, bye. <laughs> Alright. What do you think of her? Is she a beauty? This is the crown jewel of the Central Factory fleet, the Leibniz. A German name. I love it. <laughs> Old technician. Hmm? What do you want? Um, the Leibniz has a mountain of parts to store it in her. It's dangerous, so stand clear. Actually, we're, we're looking for someone. Isn't there a maintenance chief by the name of Gustav on this ship? What do you want with me? Oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> ah, you're running errands for Russell, are you? But a combustion engine, huh? Well, you got a good timing, I'll give you that. Huh? Hang on a second. Does he actually have one pack on this onto this ship? Looks like it. Here you go, it's a heavy beast though, so be careful. I don't see it. Y yow, you weren't kidding. <laughs> but we can still manage to carry it. Huh, you got some spirit for you, for you, for such a young girl. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Thanks. It's pretty interesting, little coincidence. That old fart wants that, wants this thing right after I got it back from the military. Huh? From the military? Yeah, this thing was on a, was on loan to them for a little while. They were using it for some kind of research. As a matter of fact, I, I only just got it back today. Huh, lucky to us. Hmm, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Now that we got what we need, why don't we take it back to the professor? Sure thing. Thank you, Mr. Maintenance Chief. Sure, sure, give, me, give my regards to the old man. The... the Gustav sent his regards. We got it back. Gustav sent his regards. <laughs> We're back. And we brought what you asked for. Excellent. Thank you. You weren't kidding about, about how heavy this thing is. Yes, your brute strength was most useful, girl. <laughs> Perfect timing, too. As I've just finished preparing the tools. All that's left is to set up the engine and put a gas in it. If you'll go and put on the finishing If you'll go and put on the finishing touches, Tira. Yes sir. Oh. And it's all set. Wow. This thing is really clunky looking. Are all these engines like these? Yeah. It converts the energy given by the burning gas to power the tools. So this way they don't need horrible energy. 
Indeed, now let's not do dawdle. Let me flip the switch. And click. Jeez, this thing should sure makes a racket. It's definitely a lot louder than orbital engines. That's one of its drawbacks, yes. But I doubt we need to fear deactivating the black orbman this way. Let's get started. Ooh. Wow. That's some serious spark. Okay, shut it down for now. We've seen how much physical punishment it can take, and how much punishment our ears can take as well. Stell and others crowded and round. Yeah, yeah. A tiny scratch is faintly visible. That... that's it? That's incredible, and with the spe special alloy to saw too. Well, whatever it's made of, it's tougher than anything I have ever seen. But if we keep at it, I believe this will work. We're going to go through quite a few saw blades though. <laughs> So it's going to be a real test of patience then. Hey, Professor, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, have you already finished the modification? Of course I have. Remember who you're talking to. Anyway, what is it? It's something wrong? I just received a message from the hotel in Elmo for you. The orbital power pump that supplies the hot water for their spa is broken down. Since they can't make any money like this, they like for you to come and try to fix it. Uh, you must be kidding. Damn it. Of all the times for this to happen. If you're that busy, why don't you send another engineer over? No, that pile of junk is at least 4 years old. The younger techs have no idea what to do with anything that's not state of the art. <sighs> what a pain. Grandpa, maybe I could go over and do the repairs, you think? Hmm? Tita. You took me there help to help with the maintenance before but, but I think I'll be I think it'll be fine if I just go hmm I'm sure you do a fine job on the repairs that's not what concerns me agree there are monsters out on the roads but we can't just leave Mr. mrs. Mao like this well you got through bait two bracers right there if that's the problem why don't you just let us handle this huh if it's a bracers duty to ensure the safety of liberals not roadways Therefore, seeing Tita arrives at her destination safely, it's our responsibility. Well, that's another story. If you're all with her, then we don't need to worry. Hmm, alright then. Thank you. Um, are you sure this is okay? Don't worry about it. Kids shouldn't sweat the details so much. If you're ready, then let's go. Thank you both. No. Okay, Grandpa and Mr. Murdoch. We'll be back soon. Take care, dear. Be careful out there. So we gotta go to Elmo, Elmo Village. <laughs> We're gonna start the St. Elmo's Fire. <sighs> Which means we can finally go outside and kill monsters. So Elmo, sounds kinda fun. There's hot springs there, right? Right, it's a real nice place. My grandpa's taken me there a few times. So which way do we go? Hmm, there's a big field outside the south of the entrance town. You're, you just follow that road due south to get there. Got it, due south from the uh, south entrance. Let's go then, if you don't know where south is, blame your photographer. <laughs> so hang on, I have to click this map shit again. So the tower in this area is Cornelia. Which I'm okay with it. So we gotta go down. Laystone Fortress is right on the right side. Along with the Sankheim Gate. Alright. Let me go and save. Yeah, lots of uh, sheep. I'm just looking for the monsters here. And treasure chest. Actually, maybe there's a new quest. I mean, there's new jobs, whatever. Yeah, see? Ba, 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 ba. So, shall we go ahead and do the quest first? Actually, let me go back. I mean, I need to pee. Give me one second. 
Okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Hang on. Do I go? Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Bam. Bam. Okay, so. So Wolf Ford is right there. The monster should be right there as well. Holy shit, this area is huge. <laughs> Is that it? No, it moves. It's, it's a monster. Okay, that's probably it. Is it? Yep. So, let's put our orb in. I'm trying to fucking decide which one should I pick. I think it's just fine. It get, it's got health gate on it, so let me go and save again. Alright, let's go. Okay, it's probably gonna come in here. Yep, I knew it. Ah. Uh. Boom! Nice. They're all blind now. Yes. Come a little closer. Well, I was in with both of them. <laughs> Let's do another Hell's Gate, shall we? Aha! Ooh, a critical! Shit, I don't have any AoE. Anyway, I forgot something. <laughs> nice. Nice. Ah. Bitch. We're good to go. Sweet. No damage. Hell yeah. <sighs> it's just every time we need to. Alright, let me kill that bunny and a cat enemy here. Grasshopper. Aw, oh, come on. That's lame. Oh well, we did it. Alright, let's kill the snake, I guess. Alright, we did it. That was easy. Alright, what other enemies do we have here? A bunch of snakes. <laughs> Alright, what's the new, the other request? Hmm. Is 
Stupid mouse. Hmm. Let's do this one. Potent, potent ingredient. I'm looking for a powerful ingredient to be used. And a new min menu items currently under consideration of the Forgal bar. Okay. So please do not seek me out for details or clarification. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Where's the healing? Do I have it? I think... That requires that. No, fuck. I don't have it. We gotta go back to his eyes. Alright, let's kill this bunch of sheep. Yeah. Miss! How could you miss? You're a fucking... Oh my god. You have a fucking right, cannon. <laughs> it's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. Everything is fine. It's okay if you miss. What is this enemy? Armor rabbit. Nice, critical. That's that. Let's move out. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, let's go to the factory. There we go. Now we gotta go to the bar. Where is it? Oh, there you go. Randall. Ben, ha, huh, hello there. Do you have a minute? We set a posting on the bulletin board and brought some ingredients. Please, let me see. Hmm. Hmm. May I see that tomato for a moment? It smells like... Smells nothing like a regular tomato. Much stronger than I'm used to. Let me try it. Ah, bleh. <laughs> what is this? It's terrible. My taste buds have been violated. See, it's just gross. Maybe it'll, good, it'll be a good reason for research, but I can't see anyone wanting to eat it. Hmm, well, it sure can be eaten, eaten as is, but it certainly has an interesting flavor and scent. With the right preparation, I, it could be a useful ingredient for cooking. Maybe. Doesn't it worry you to eat something that nasty? No, I found the strongly bitter foods tend to be very good f for one's health when they don't kill you anyway. <laughs> and traditional Zeisen cooking calls for some very strong ingredients. I'm not sure I want to try that. <laughs> there, that should be just to the right level of bitter to nicely complement the dish. Here, you can be the first to try out my newest dish. Consider it my thanks for introducing me to such an amazing food, so we're not getting paid. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I'll save this for later. Now I need to get back to work. Thanks for everything today. Okay, see you later. Tomato sandwich? Don't we already have tomato sandwich? Oh wow, 40 CP. Yo, maybe I should make more of that. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Product testing. Hmm. Alright. Who do I meet you? If you if you think your legs are up to the test, come see me in the laboratory on the fourth floor. Okay. Yo. Hmm? What is it? Terry. 
If you're looking for a ray, he is out to lunch. No, no. We checked out your bul the bulletin board and... Oh, I see. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. My name is Terry and I'm a researcher here at the Central Factory. I'm Estelle, bracer in training. I'm Joshua. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Getting straight to business. I have a task for you. Do your schedules allow it for it? Yes. Sure, I don't see a problem with it. The request said you needed help with testing a new style of sneaker. Could you give us a little more detail? Oh, certainly. But first, here. Alpha Strega. Is this your new kind of sneaker? Yes, the Strega Corporation is conducting research on new projects to bring to market. This particular test requires you to wear these prototypes around to various places. Upon the successful completion of this test, all that will remain is to put them into production. Hmm, I see. Hey, just a second here, there, buddy. Did you just say Strega Corporation? Uh, yes? So then this new line of sneakers? Yes, it's the Strega Corporation's new, newest product. Didn't I just say all this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't listen. Oh, great Adios, thank you for bestowing upon me, uh, I mean, er, us, <laughs> this magnificent job. <laughs> uh, are you alright? Why the sudden prayer? Don't mind her, Estelle something is of a sneaker collector. More to the point, she pretty much adores the Strega brand at once. Oh, I get it now. Oh, so you might say she has a sneaker me mania then. What? <laughs> that That's a thing? I was just a little taken back by her reaction. Estelle, would you snap out of it? I get that you're excited, but do we, we do have to work work to do. Uh, ahem, yes, you're correct. Hmm, well, you certainly have a spirit. A scary amount, in fact. <laughs> so what will you do the te So will you do the test? Please don't pray at me again. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'm a man of science. I don't pray a lot. <laughs> See what I mean? It's alright, please proceed. So we'll take on the job, but you want us to wear these shoes everywhere we go? Yes, that's correct. From the Elmo Spa to the Wolf Fort, all the way to the Sankheim Gate. And when you feel you've tested, test, tested them out properly, bring them back to me. The layer between the sole and insole is my responsibility, so I have to see how it holds up. So you need us to report back when, you, when we have the chance. That at least. And now see if you can wear them out. Hehe, <laughs> just leave it to me. You'll excuse us. Okay. So all we gotta do is just equip this. Oh, I hope it's good. No, it sucks. No. Well. Let's put these babies on and see how they feel in action. Once I worn the sneakers, these sneakers down, I'll have to report back. So I want to get more extra BP. I think I gotta go to. Hmm. Okay. All right, let me open up the map. So, in order to get the extra BP, I need to go back to Air Latin, which is... You have to go down the underground, right? Mm, let me... let's go to Laystan Force Fortress first. Yes, that's where we're gonna go. And then we're going to Swickle Fort and Sankheim Gate. Let me go and save. Cool. I don't want to fight anybody, that's why I'm wearing that haze. Holy shit! Is that another monster? It is. Hmm. We could take it now, but no. Nah. Soldat Army Army Road. And where did that take us? 
I thought this was the uh, Sangheim road. East Sangheim Gate. Alright, let's go to the Lyston Fortress first. I'll well, take care of that snake later. Ooh! Tear bomb. It's empty! Diabolical! <laughs> Smart ass. Reviving bomb. Ooh. Let's kill that. Alright, they're not strong enough. But it gives us a lot of experience. Oh, damn. Good to know. Get out of here, you stupid rhino. That is a big ass cat. Or rabbit, whatever. It's empty. Outrageous. <laughs> Curia bomb. Wait, what? Double dipping is against the rules. Who said it is? <laughs> you shut up. Okay, so this is the Lyston Fortress. This is the Royal Army Base. We'll come back to this place soon. Don't worry. In this chapter, there's going to be a lot of... surprises, I guess. <laughs> So we'll go to Sankheim Gate now. No, it's another one of those uh, bug enemy. So this is a Sanctime Gate. Let's walk around. I think there's another quest like this later on. If I remember correctly. It is something weird. Yeah, the Grand Soul region. I know Joshua, jeez. Alright. We walked around too much. So let me go back to Zeiss. I'll see you guys then. Alright, cool. Alright. So we gotta go to the Wolf Forward. Shit! Alright. So I'm checking something out as well. I guess not in here. Hmm. 
There's another area there. How do I get there? Oh, okay. I think this is an enemy boss. Let me go ahead and save. Yep. Wait, hang on. I forgot to equip my thing. Ah! Let's run away for now. I do this again, man. <laughs> Alright, uh. Mine. Two. Ooh, he's going up here, huh? Alright. It should probably art wall. Uh, no, I don't have a. What is wrong with me? I kept thinking about. Hang on. <laughs> Scratch his hat. Let's do this again. Uh. Let's not give you this. I was gonna use Art Wall, but no. Do I even need this? I don't, right? Yeah, I do need it. Damn it. No, if I get rid of that, my fucking art guard is gone. I mean, art wall. I think this is fine. That son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. This is fine. Let's go for real this time. <laughs> All of that. For bullshit. <laughs> Why are they playing playing dead? Take. Oh, good thing I aerial. I mean, good thing I air wall. <laughs> I knew something bad was gonna happen. Son of a bull. Shit. Kill this thing. Sweet. <laughs> They're just playing dead. Hey! 
Sweet. Sweet. See what happens when you prepare. <laughs> Oh well, they ran away. God damn it! Sapphire Talisman. The chest is, you guessed it, empty. <laughs> I think there should be like a thing here. Pretty sure there's a book. The books is right here. Unless I have to turn it in first. Ah. Once again, I forgot. <laughs> Shit! There is another one here. Okay, there's more to this, huh? Ow. You bitch. I'm gonna punch you right in the mouth. Oh shit, no! Oh well. No! <laughs> You're fucking packing. <laughs> ah. Oh well. Sweet, it's a kill. Black bangle. I feel so empty inside. You're a smart ass treasure chest, are you? <laughs> <sighs> Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, let me turn in the quest. And then I'm gonna end the part, and then we'll do more side quests next part. So the temp librarian. Okay. Let's go. I think this one is in. This is our hand. Approach the man of stone and standing in silence within the mountain village pond. Yeah, I think that's in Elmo. Alright, cool. I'm gonna end the part here. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Stay tuned and stay safe. Later!